and nothing. Zip. Well, all right. At least we gave it a shot. Anyway, this was just an area that I camped. Uh, I stumbled in here and decided it was too hot to keep going. Stayed here last night. But we're going to try and get over there next. Look at all these Cardone cactus. The cactus forest. Ah, oh, just a baby. My Baja pinstripes. Quite a larger plant in this little area. So somebody does know where I am. If I don't come back, she will send the rescue party. And right up here, this road drops down into a big canyon. I haven't driven this road before but I've looked at it on the satellite map so we're gonna find out right now if uh, I can do this in a two-wheel drive truck. This one. Not gonna try this. Well, actually, eh, actually, it looks doable. There's big ruts on one side, but the other side doesn't have any ruts. All right, let's continue. Yeah, actually, let's not continue. I don't want to have to get back up that. I'm by myself. It's hot. It's getting hotter. It's going to be in the 90s again. I mean, there's a limit to how much risk you want to assume. And the place that I want to go is right there, but not by myself. But anyway, I got some good research in for the book. Now I have to figure out where I'm going to stay tonight. Uh, there's no place around here that's not hot. I'm near Bahia de Los Angeles. It's a furnace. Uh, I don't know. Head north. Go back home. What's the deal? Alright, so this road should take us back to the main highway. 
Doesn't look too bad. <coughs> I keep seeing these big piles of glass bottles. Down at the bottom of that last grade, there's a big pile. It looks like they're from the 70s. There's some clams. There's a Gatorade. Gatorade Thirst Quencher. 23. We should be able to date that. Whoops. Not anymore, we won't. Why would they just dump all these tin cans and glass bottles out here? Maybe the regular trash is all eroded, rotted away and all that's left is the glass. Nothing like <laughs> ruining the desert. Uh, yeah, I could have made that grade. I'm going to kick myself and, for not trying it, but not by myself. I'm actually researching a book that I'm writing, so now I know you can get in here probably with 4x4 four four or a quad. You can camp here, um, get off this these main roads, and you got it all yourself. Pretty amazing. I'm kind of a solitary person to begin with, but uh, this is getting to be enough solitude for me. All right, and here we are, about 30 miles north of where I was. See the vegetation is different here. It's all cereals. None of the big elephant trees or uh, cardone cactus. Anyway, there's a placer way up over in there. I'm not going to go there. And driving in here, I saw a drainage down there. So this is our last chance for romance. Hike in there with a bucket, get a sample, and then head for my campo. So this is interesting. Uh, all the rocks around here are these sharp, angular rocks. And here's a little patch of round river rock. Uh, this will be our sample point. We'll try to find a contact on bedrock. This is a wild goose chase. Shot in the dark. And I'm running out of enthusiasm in a hurry. Okay. A little, little tiny bit behind this rock. A little bit more sitting on this layer of caliche. And that is a wrap for the prospecting. Okay. There's the dirt, and we're ready to cook up some delicious food on the nice Coleman stove. Unfortunately, it's a little bit windy. Do not recommend.
And another day of gold prospecting comes to an end. It's really not that bad. All right. Well, here we are back home. Made it home safely. So that was uh, kind of a bust. Didn't find any gold. Uh, that was what I would call moonshot prospecting. That was in an area that doesn't have claims on it very low probability of finding gold but a high reward if we did find some and got to see a part of the central desert of Baja that very few people ever see um, if you're curious that was west of Perador Punta Prieta I know it's kind of frustrating to watch a video and not know where it was so that's where it was Anyway, wouldn't be a gold prospecting video without some gold. And on the way home, I went to the mountains, stopped at my secret spot, and I've got one, two, three buckets of pay dirt. Already panned one pan, and it had gold in it. And there it is. Typical tiny amount of flower gold from the Sierra Juarez. Anyhow, that'll do it for this video. Thanks for watching from Jens Tobias and bye bye. That's all of it. That is some fine, fine gold. Um, the first pan was pretty good. The rest of it was from a different spot that was not so good. But, gold is gold, nice to see in the bottom of the pan.